Some of viewers, welcome back to the channel. Pleasant good afternoon to my viewers. So, right now, we have a little situation over by Kingston Wharf. Yeah, man, you know, Kingston Wharf, and you are coming to St. Catherine. You see me out on the tool, on the outskirt, right? So, so there was a little situation yesterday. So, right now, search on for a Kingston Wharf worker who fell overboard. Kingston Wharf Limited is responsible. We're reporting that a search is on for an employee who fell overboard while performing Steve Doring operation aboard a vessel. The company says the incident happened about 10.05 p.m. and that the rescue protocols were immediately activated. Further, it say the Coast Guard and Marine Police were contacted to provide search and rescue operation along with private personnel engaged by the company. Kingston Wharf says search efforts continue this morning, adding that updates will be provided as they become available. Our prayers are with our colleagues, his family, and the wider KW, the KWL family at this time, difficult time, said a spokesperson. In a statement this morning, the missing worker is believed to be Scott Bambury, who is from Woodall in Clarendon. When contacted, Kingston Wharf Risp representative declined to release the identity of the employee, noting that steps are being taken to inform key contacts. However, residents of Woodall have reported that they have received word that Bambury is at the center of the tragedy. It was a similar sentiment for his aunt, Victoria Rodney, who is overseas, when she spoke with the news this morning. I don't know how I am able to talk to you. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to begin. She said as she tried to hold back her emotions. Rodney said when her nephew got a job after struggling for a long time, she was so happy for him as she knew he had potential. She said she remains hopeful for a positive outcome. Boy, my viewers, we just pray and hope, sir. The youth found, but from last night till now, and a deep waters them there, no, my viewers, because of this, so the ship come and dock, you know. So, you know, so a deep waters that, my viewers, it's really a struggle for really come out victorious on something like this, unless him can swim very good, and there can be any, any situation, anything can happen, my viewers, him can fell over and drop on something, or anything. If you also just have to just keep your finger crossed and go on send up prayers to the Mosai for the safe return of the young man here. So right now we get into this story. Cabby and passenger can up two other injured in St. Andrew attack. 87 this morning attack a taxi along Hillary Avenue off Reddy's Road in St. Andrew. Peppering four persons, two drop out, a woman and a child are now hospitalized. The deceased are yet to be identified. The deceased are a male taxi driver and a man who was in the front passenger seat. It is reported that the taxi was traveling along the roadway when it came under every car about 8.30. The police were called to the scene. The area has been cordoned off. 
and the traffic was in fact diverted. The body of woman found in Manchester is identified. The woman whose body was found with hands and feet bound in Greenville, Manchester has been identified. She is 45 year old Pamela Sanders of a Greenville address. No motive have yet been established and no suspect identified. Residents stumbled upon the body about 8.50 on Tuesday morning and summoned the police. The body was found with its hand and feet bound and covered with pieces of log. The scene was processed and the body was removed to the morgue. Investigation is ongoing. Viewers and sub, I tell you not say boy. It's sticky, my viewers. It's really and truly sticky out there. Oh, Jamaica. Really. I go here now, my viewers. But anyway, more than enough, scant enough to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share out the vlog, man, so YouTube can recommend me.